Bienvenidos a Spanish for Educators. Today I want to talk about question words. Question words are those pronouns that you use to introduce sentences that are trying to get information. Let's try pronouncing a few of them now. Repeat after me. Como? Quien? Que? Cuanto? Donde? De? Donde? Cuando? Por qué? Para qué? You might notice that cuanto and cuando are very similar sounding. Make sure you pronounce the t and the d very well. Also, you might notice that cuanto is an adjectival pronoun. That is to say, it describes a noun. So, if we're talking about a masculine quantity or noun, we'll use cuanto. If that is plural, it'll be cuantos, feminine, cuanta, and feminine plural, cuantas. Cuanto tiempo, how much time? Cuanta agua, how much water? Cuantos padres, how many parents? Cuantas sillas, how many chairs? We've been working with the verb ser, estar, and the impersonal verb hay, meaning there is, there are. Let's try some question words with these verbs. Remember that ser is about essence in being. It's about what my name is, what I do, where I'm from. Estar also means to be, but it's about how I feel, and about where things are located in space. I, again, spelled H-A-Y, I, simply means there is, there are, and it does not conjugate. Repeat after me. ¿Cómo está usted? Estar is used here because it's asking about feelings. How are you? ¿Cómo está usted? ¿Cómo Es el desarrollo de mi hijo. How is my child's progress? Here we're using the verb ser because the question refers to a characteristic. How is it? Is his progress good, bad, indifferent? ¿Cómo es? ¿Qué quiere ser usted? What do you want to be? To a child, it would be ¿Qué quieres? Ser usted. What do you want to be? De donde es usted? From where are you? Where are you from? Again, we use the verb ser because where I'm from is essential to who I am. De donde es usted? ¿Cuántos son sus hijos? Literally, how many are your children? Or, how many children do you have? ¿Cuántos is modifying, modifying hijos? ¿Cuántos hijos? If they were just daughters and hijas, I would ask, ¿Cuántas son sus hijas? Hijos means both sons and also children. ¿Quién ayuda al niño con la tarea en casa? ¿Quién ayuda al niño con la tarea en casa? Who helps the child with homework at home? ¿Quién? ¿Cuándo es la junta? When is the meeting? ¿Por qué está preocupada? Why are you worried? The two words, por qué, for what, or why. ¿Por qué está preocupada? 
¿Para qué es el PTO? What's the PTO for? The Parent Teacher Organization. ¿Para qué es el PTO? Here, we're not saying why is it. We're saying what's the purpose of it? ¿Para qué? And finally, ¿cuál? Which? ¿Cuál es el problema? What's the problem? Now, you may think that what here should be qué, but we use cuál often in Spanish, which, when we're addressing something that could be a closed set, like how many problems could there be, or cuál es su nombre, which is your name instead of what. Don't worry too much about cuál en qué, it's not a deal breaker for communication, but it's nice to know idiomatically when you want to use cual. Let's look at a few more question words in context with ser, estar, and the impersonal verb I. Remember, I means there is, there are. Ser is used to describe the essence of being, who I am, where I'm from, what I do. And estar is about location and emotions and feelings. Try a few of these sentences after me. ¿Dónde está la aula de mi hijo? Where is my child's classroom? You'll notice the word aula, like owl with an a at the end is classroom. Also look at the preposition de, which is used for possession. De mi hijo, of my child. In other words, my child's. We do not have the apostrophe s in Spanish to indicate possession. Instead, we use the preposition de. Try this sentence. ¿Quién es el tutor de la niña? Tutor can mean teacher, but in a legal sense is used as guardian. When there is no parent or direct parent, there's a guardian called a tutor, which, if it's a female, is una tutora. ¿Quién es el tutor o tutora de la niña? Try this one. ¿Cuál es su nivel? de lectura. What's his or her reading level? Su, his or her. Lectura, the topic, reading, lectura. ¿Qué es lo más indicado? ¿Qué es lo más indicado? Literally, what is the most indicated, but this is an idiomatic phrase that you should just learn, meaning, what's the best thing to do? What's the best recommendation? What's the best suggestion? ¿Qué es lo más indicado? ¿De qué color es el uniforme? ¿De qué color es el uniforme? What color is the uniform? The uniform can be any color. In some schools, it will be blue. In others, yellow. In some, gray. ¿De qué color es el uniforme? Of what color is the uniform? What color is the uniform? ¿Cómo se siente usted? How do you feel? We're not going to address right now why it's se siente, except to say that that's a reflexive verb. So for now, just understand that there are some verbs that have an extra part, and this is one of them, how we feel. Se siente, you feel. Como se siente usted, how do you feel? Que piensa usted, what do you think? Think of questions that you use with parents at school. Send them to me. Let's put them into Spanish. <laughs>